April 4th, 2011. Here's an update for today. This is the aftermath of that bad storm that it seems happened all over every part of the country. We had really bad rain and it was hailing and uh, some of my plants took some damage and I, I lost one of them actually. But uh, at the same time all that extra rain caused everything to sprout and I got stuff that had died. I planted extra seeds and more of them are coming out than I, there should have only been three to a pot and I kept putting them in because I thought they were dying and well, now I got more than I need. So I guess that's good also, but this is my Zuka. You can see how, uh, how the hail damaged it. Alright, we've got, let's see. That little one coming up, that's good. And these are, uh, baby bottle gourds. They're supposed to be like regular bottle gourds, only miniature. And the lufa is doing well. Pretty soon it'll get tendrils and it'll start climbing. And, uh, this is a damage that I, I'm not happy about. This is the Casa Bananas. The second one we had come up and the hail struck it and ripped one of the leaves off, and I'm afraid that it's not going to grow anymore. I don't see any secondary growth. And this plant actually came up after it did, and it already has secondary growth coming in. So I may have to start seeds in here again, and there were like three other seeds. I always plant extras just in case, and they haven't come up at all. So pasta banana is one thing I really want to grow, and well, it doesn't look too good. But I finished making the arbor. See, I replaced those flimsy ones I had with good 2 by 4s Let's go to the front and see how the gourds are doing out there. Pond's doing good, actually. Goldfish are in there and having fun. But, let me turn this off. <clears throat> see, the lily pad looks like it's starting to come up. But I don't know, the, the leaves are kind of reddish. I don't know if that's good or bad. I I got a feeling it's bad because I thought they're supposed to be, uh, I don't know if you can even see it with the glare, but if they're supposed to be, uh, green, not red. I just hope they make it to the surface. Okay, this is one of those plants I got from my buddy, and this is really cool that I went to this place and picked it up. This is a sausage tree, which is native to Africa. And hopefully if this one makes it, it'll get really, really tall and get these awesome fruits on it. They're not edible, they're ornamental, but they look like sausages. It's pretty cool. A uh, loquat tree has got lots of them ripening, and Chris has been eating them and enjoying them. And, uh, a yellow jacaranda. More hail damage lost all its leaves and the tip of this seems to have died and I'm worried but it's still green so I, I'm hoping that new growth will come <sighs> just I've had the worst luck with jacarandas this was yellow I hope it'll keep growing despite everything the purple jacaranda is doing great <sighs> it's going up 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 and that's what it needs to do and I think I'm gonna cut this one off, get rid of that, that way all the energy will go into this one and hopefully that'll be the tree and I just hope nothing happens once it gets cold. Okay, here's the first pot from the front yard and uh, well, you see that used to be at the bottom there? That got totally cut off during the hail. A piece of ice came and just ripped it right off and that was the, the horned melon. So I'm really disappointed about that, and I've, I've planted new ones to replace that one. That one coming up there, and there's another one. I, I don't remember. I didn't label these, and that was really bad. But this pot was my best pot last year, and this year it's just been the worst. But the cucumbers are doing great. You can tell that uh, they had the, the damage from the the hail also, but they're, they're still going, so it's okay, they can still pick up the sunlight with their leaves. And then the zuka gourds and the uh, African wine kettles, same thing, damage from the hail, but they should 
they should be okay. They're still growing and it's doing really well. Take it back inside. I went and I visited my friend Earth Mother this few days ago and it was a really fun trip. We had a lot of fun together and she was really awesome that she gave me way more cuttings of succulents that I need. So I'm hardening off. She told me to harden them off for a week and I'm going to wait for a week before I, I make a place outside because one of the things I've been talking about for a while I've been wanting to do is making a, a desert garden and uh, yesterday I got enough uh, 4x4s to start working on what will be my Dutchman's Pipe Vine Arbor. Alright, and here under the grow lamps we have lots and lots of good progress. We have several baby trees that have come up and for a while I didn't know what some of these were because I had labeled them with tapes but they used to be out in the rain and it washed all my ink off. But this is a Bombax or silk cotton tree and I'm really excited about planting this. I'm not sure which side of the yard I'm going to plant it yet. I'll put up the subtitles for the scientific names of these as well. Uh, this is a, a royal Poinciana. I put up the pictures today on um, Flickr. These two are pumpkin trees. They are a member of the Solanaceae family, so they're related to tomatoes, but they're it's a tree, small shrub, and the uh, fruits that they get are not edible. They are ornamental, but they look like little pumpkins. They're really cool. And this, funny enough, is a sausage tree. It's the one you saw outside. I planted these seeds before I found people that were selling the uh, older trees already. And I've got some Nepenthe seeds. Oh, these uh, popsicles that I'm using. I've been a, a great thing for the, the whole uh, tape labels did not work for me so I got these craft sticks or popsicle sticks 75 for like three bucks that's way better than buying those little plastic ones for uh, you only get like 15 and you pay three dollars for that as well and of course here last little Nep Nepenthes is doing great uh, it's got a new leaf coming in, so I've got three, four new baby Nepenthes, the pictures that will be appearing on the Nepenthes. Very cute.